Yes, darlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me and for watching one of my videos for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for returning to watch another one of my videos. And to my subscribers, I cannot thank you enough for your love, your loyalty, and your support in this channel. For those of you who join me in my lives, I am truly, truly grateful. I cannot express that enough, how grateful I am to each and every one of you. And for those who've been making these very heartwarming, um, emotional comments on my videos, it's been, I can't, it's ineffable. It, it's really indescribable and it's been uh, amazing um, as far as I've come along on this journey and creating this channel and reading for you guys, it's one of the most wonderful things I could ever experience hands down. And I'm so grateful that I've been helping so many of you on your journeys. I mean, the words that I've seen that you guys have written, it's just, it blows me away. There's never a dull moment and it just never ceases to amaze me. Um, the the encouragement empowerment that i've been giving so many of you and from the bottom of my heart i cannot thank you guys enough and i'm so glad that you have crossed over to my sector of the universe and my messages have been able to um help you along your journey um there's not really much from else for me to say other than i wish all of you a very very merry christmas happy holidays happy new year um, Feliz Año, Prospero Año Nuevo, all that good stuff. And I really hope that 2020 is your best year yet, but it, it, it is what you make of it, okay? But I feel it will be a very life-changing year for you, and I wish you nothing but the best, and I send much love and many blessings as I always do. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. How are you doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I hope you're having a great week so far. If not, cheer up, Buttercup. This too shall pass, okay? I know last week we got that card that said you're going through a lot. A lot. Practically everybody's going through a lot, all right? So um, just keep pushing through, all right? But I have a sense that things are really going to be looking up. Um, and I know we've been getting this heightened message with the manifestation of our heart's desires coming in. But I think we're really inching closer towards that. Okay? This is for, for the majority of you. Anyway, aside from that, I send you many blessings and so, so much love. If you've never been here before, Aquarius, welcome. Thank you for being here. What we're going to do is we're going to see what your overall theme is for this week, what you need to focus on, and what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth. Stick around to the end so you can see what is coming to you with regards to love, um, what your affirmation of the week is, and what other spirit guidance we have for you to help you navigate these energies. All right, Aquarius, let's see what your overall theme is for this week. Okay, we've got what? Three cards this week, uh, la, 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 la. Aquarius. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Is I'm, I've been pretty hyper most of the day. So, bear with me. We have yellow jasper here. I was hoping to record this earlier, but I had extra so-called counseling to do with some clients, so I kind of got a little bit behind. But there's no such thing as behind. We have control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. All right. We have topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. All righty. Amethyst. Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Okay. Now. All right. 
I'm thinking on this. Because it goes at the bottom of the deck. We have rose quartz. Love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Okay. You know what I'm getting with this? And I always get two groups. Okay. So bear with me. Some of you. Remember, it's a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't for somebody else who is watching this. You know your story better than I do because this is a general reading. Um, if you would like a personal one, feel free to check the description box below. Book one with me to get the specifics on your particular situation. Now, half of you, it's exactly what this card says. New or renewed romantic love is here for you, okay? Others of you, this is about you healing your heart chakra, understanding what true unconditional love is. That's the highest love of all. That's the highest frequency of all. When you are vibrating at that level, you get an incredible amount of blessings that just come your way because unconditional love is very hard for humans to embrace, to understand, to feel, because it is a high state of being. And that high state of being is a divine quality. If you think about it, God unconditionally loves every single one of us. Even the people who've done like the most foul, horrible things imaginable. He does. Because that's God. We are God within. So we have the capacity to love in the same manner. We get that from God because we are created from God. However, we are human. And after we're born into this world and society kicks in and we have our upbringing and all these other 3D factors tend to tarnish that a little bit. And nobody really teaches what unconditional love is, right? I know for me growing up, I didn't know what the heck that was. Nobody taught me that. Not even when I went to church, honestly. There's no knock against the church. None at all. But I'm talking from experience that I wasn't taught about that. And yes, there was Jesus' teachings and stuff like that. And I saw that. But nobody tells us that's the type of love we should really be seeking. But starting with ourselves. And then we pour that out like the Ace of Cups to the rest of the world. And that helps with healing and raising the vibration of the planet. If we all loved each other unconditionally, we would be living in some incredible utopia right now. But that's not the case. But I kind of have hope that at some point we'll get there. I won't be alive when that happens, but it's a start. It's very hard for people to forgive and to unconditionally love others. It really is. But it really shouldn't be. Because that's part of us. We just allow our ego to kick in. And it hardens our hearts. And when our hearts are hardened and they're blocked and there's blotches in there, that keeps you from feeling peaceful. It keeps you from clearing that heart chakra so that all of the beauty of life and the abundance and the blessings can manifest in your heart. All your heart's desires will manifest when that is cleared. Yet it's hard to find true love. It's hard to live this amazingly blissful life if you still have a little bit of anger and resentment in your heart space. That's why those who are able to have a completely clear heart chakra and who know how to unconditionally love not only themselves but everyone else around them, even the people who did them wrong, and they learn to forgive because forgiveness is part of unconditional love. They're like pretty much one and the same. That is when the blessings really come in. You can't get something for nothing. It's like the ultimate prize. Just think about it. Do you think that God's just going to give all of these amazing things just for doing a little bit of work? Right? 
If I were God, I wouldn't. I need to see the effort. So for some of you, and because we do have the control issues card, the yellow jasper and the topaz card, right? These two cards right here, forgiveness heals. And it says that the topaz, time to release repressed angers. It's blocking your health and happiness. Anger is low vibrational, guys. Resentment, not being able to forgive is low vibrational. Think about it. If you feel this, some of you are feeling this right now. How does it make you feel? Do you like that feeling of anger and resentment? I'm not going to forgive. I can't forgive for what that person has done. There's no way. You kind of feel uptight, right? You feel a little bit tense. It's not a good feeling to feel. I don't know anybody who would love to be feeling like that indefinitely. It's a low vibration. The lower the vibration gets, the more lower vibrational things you attract. That's how it works. And if you think about it, I'm gonna talk about the story of Jesus. Some of you know about Judas, right? He was the one who betrayed Jesus. One of his disciples. Somebody who was supposed to have his back. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I'm going to talk about your teachings and talk about how wonderful you are and your miracles. And I'm going to spread the word of God and all these things about forgiveness and unconditional love, whatever. But what did he do? He gave him up the Romans he betrayed him and Jesus ended up being crucified because of it are any of you being sent up to a hill to be crucified I don't think so that's ultimate betrayal right there but you know what Jesus did he forgave him anyway Some of you have gone through quite a lot, yeah. Maybe you've been betrayed by somebody or some people or whatever more than once. But are you being nailed to the cross? Are you being sent to die because of that betrayal? That's way worse through what Jesus went through. But Jesus forgave Judas anyway. And he still unconditionally loved him, even though he was one of his disciples. He was like his, like, not a right-hand man, but you get what I'm saying. We go through a lot. Look, I've been there too. I've been betrayed. More than once. And yeah, it pissed me off. And made me angry. But you know what happened in my life? I kept attracting the same shit. I had to stop doing that. I had to do an about face and say, you know what? I don't like feeling this bitterness. This, this anger. This resentment. Like it makes me feel yucky. <laughs> okay. At the time, I did not like feel that feeling. Who in their right mind likes to feel that those types of low vibrational energies? And then everything around me just started to just not go right at all. If you've been watching me for a while, you should probably be able to tell just by my energies and how I speak alone that I'm not in that place anymore. This is a big thing for a lot of you and a lot of other people and the entire collective forgiveness. It's blocking your abundance, your happiness, your bliss. When we learn to forgive, we heal. Not only ourselves, the other person, everyone around us. We help each other. We're here to help each other. And you as Aquarians, you're the ones who are supposed to be fighting for humanity. The greater good, right? So if you're feeling this, it's time to release that. 
It doesn't matter what somebody did because it's not about them. It's about you, Aquarius. It's about you. And I know I've talked about other people go through crap that we know nothing about. Unless you know all the facts of the individual who's caused you to feel this, who's caused you to tell yourself, there's no way I can forgive that person unless you have the facts. With all due respect, Aquarius, and I say this out of unconditional love, you have no right to criticize that person, let alone judge. God is our only judge here. Not you, not me, not anybody else. Unless you can say to yourself that you know everything that's going on in that person's life, what they have been through, what their childhood was like, what their parents were like. Do you know anything about their birth chart, about their karmic debt? I will say I've done quite a few birth charts and some people have some serious hard stuff in their birth charts that causes them to do some not so great things. There's a lot of karmic debt that I have seen working with clients that they have to pay back to include people's counterparts, okay? There's a lot of other stuff going on we don't know anything about. But we have no right to criticize anybody unless we know every little thing about that person and why they're doing what they're doing. It's not about them again, it's about you. You are responsible for your well being, your happiness, and your abundance. That's it. Not, I'm not even responsible for that. I'm here to give you guidance. Other people are not responsible for it. It's you. It's up to you to raise your vibration, to learn how to heal, to learn how to forgive, and learn how to unconditionally love. That's it. It's all you have to do. Take it one step at a time if you need to. But that's pretty much it. I mean, hell, Jesus could forgive Judas. Every single one of us should be able to forgive whomever for whatever. You don't want to live the rest of your life with this bitterness in your heart. That is not an alignment with material wealth and excellent health and inner wealth and happiness and joy and bliss. It's not, it's not a vibrational match. So if you are expecting to have all these miracles come in, but you have resentment and bitterness in your heart because you can't forgive and you're trying to control the situation, you may be trying to control people or control things saying, you know what, I, whatever, I'm going to try to do this on my own. Controlling, it just backfires on you. You have to go with the natural flow of the universe. And don't be fearful of others trying to control you. Don't allow that. Walk away from people who try to control you. You don't have to be in their space. If anything, people who are trying to control you, whether it's a boss or some sort of job or money or a person, that's also blocking your abundance. There's a lot of things that some of you need to clear here, Aquarius. And it says forgiveness heals, as I said. All right? Let go of the need to control. God has full control over everything, whether you like it or not. And some of you, there's this bitterness towards love. Either you've been betrayed by people you've really loved in your life, or you're a bit bitter because you don't have true love in your life. True love is agape love, Aquarius. It's the highest frequency of all, as I always say in my readings, almost always say in my readings. This type of love, and I don't like romantic love in this card because it's about agape love. Romantic love is eros. We're not here to shoot for romantic love. That's where we get thrown off. 
that's not the highest form. It's agape. Agape is the, the level above romantic. We can have this with somebody, but there's more to true love than romance. True, true love is about unconditional love. That's why it's so hard for so many people to attract because they can't forgive and they can't unconditionally love. That's just it. All right. This bitterness with either not having this or somebody betraying you that you really cared about or whatever. Again, what did I say the story with Jesus? Jesus absolutely loved Judas and he still did even afterwards. That says a lot about his character. He knew it wasn't about Judas. Jesus was here to teach us about unconditional love. It wasn't just about dying on the cross for our sins. And yes, I'm getting biblical here, but I don't care because this is part of my teaching. This is part of my mission. There's a higher purpose that he had. And he didn't allow anyone to affect that heart of his that was so pure and full of light, full of the divine love of God. He was the, the son of God. He was absolutely divine. We have all of that within us, but something went wrong somewhere, probably with the Piscean age. That caused us to like lose sight of that. To so stop trying to control things. Let things naturally flow. Let that love just come into your life. Don't try to force it. Don't try to force somebody to love you. Don't try to manipulate it. I know because I did that the majority of my life and it was one of the most dumb things I could have done. But I didn't know any better. I had to learn to live for myself and love myself first. And after that, everything started to drastically change. And I'm living my best life now. Even if there's a little bit like just gets me agitated or whatever. Even my son calls me out on it. I learned how to get back to center. It, it takes, it took me years, you guys. It's is not an overnight thing. But I learned to work through that. So I can attract what was, what is rightfully mine. I stop trying to force people to love me or to, to change them and to keep seeking romantic love when I knew I was still broken. Doesn't work that way. I continue to attract broken people. Toxicity, you name it. Until I stopped doing that, it continued. I continue to attract lower vibrational things. And now I know with that divine love of God, because I am a divine being and so are you. That's the key to true bliss right here, guys. Forgiveness and unconditional love. And acceptance. Acceptance means unconditional love. Accepting someone for who they are. No matter what. Why? Because every single one of us is divine within. Children of God. We are all from the same source. The same creator who is God. Every one of us. So we have to try our best to look at the highest good of the individual. We're not born into this world with an intent to do harm to others, to betray others, to take advantage. That's not how we start off. It's not, we all know this. We're very innocent, very loving little children. And then things start to shape us. So try to look at things through the eyes of a child. If you look at children, they don't really care. They have that unconditional love still. But as we get older, we lose that. We have to get back to that. We all have a mission to learn how to unconditionally love each other, to help heal.
This planet needs a lot of healing. And revealing your true self, allowing others to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are. Don't hide who you are, Aquarius. How other people perceive you, it does not dictate who you are. It doesn't determine who you are as an individual. Don't let others' poor behavior affect your own either. You have to be authentic. You have to stay true to you. Don't, be, don't try to be someone that you're not. Because again, you're not being authentic. You're not being the individual, the Aquarius that God wanted you to be. You were made specifically for a purpose. You were given specific gifts for a particular purpose. Utilize them to their advantage. It doesn't matter what anybody else says about what your capabilities are, what you look like, what you can do, what you can't do, what your social status is, how much money you have, doesn't matter stay true to who you are don't follow somebody else's path stay true to your path it's your path and your path alone Aquarius don't give in to what society tells you who you're supposed to be you need to be who the world made you to be who God made you to be and there's only one you Aquarius there's nobody else like you on this planet be proud of that. Be proud of who you are. You can't hide your true self. What is the point of you being here when you were born to stand out? Every single one of us was born to stand out. To fulfill our mission here. Stick to what your heart knows. And don't be afraid to come out of the shadows. Right? Don't allow people of other things, jobs, whatever to control you. Don't allow people to tell you who you can and can't be, as I said. Maybe you've dealt with people who have um, made you a certain way thinking well I was this way because of my parents or because of my religion and now look what it got me or I was in this relationship and this person like screwed me over and they burned my heart to the ground and all this stuff again I'm gonna have to be honest here Aquarius and you know I don't screw around because I have to speak my truth I need to buy be my authentic self and say Aquarius if you've allowed somebody to control you that much where it changes you and you feel bittered, that is on you because you allowed it to happen. You got to be honest with yourself. I had to understand this myself, Aquarius. I allowed the mistreatment to be betrayed. I didn't put my foot down. I didn't walk away. I dealt with it for too long until I finally did. But then I continued to get into the same crap because I was not healing. Because I had a hard time with this. For a little while. For me, it, it, got, a little, it got quite easier when I understood about unconditional love and how forgiveness was the key to my salvation to freeing me from uh, my lower vibrational energies. It helped to open that door to the many possibilities of what I could attract to my life. It says utilize your God-given strength and power because God's given that to you already. Whatever it is that you feel is controlling you, Walk away from it. You have the strength and power to walk away. You got to be honest with yourself. You know what it is that you have to break away from. That you feel is controlling you. And you have to stop trying to control the situation. To control your life fully. We can control how we react to things. Absolutely. But as I said before. God has ultimate control. We're going to put the amethyst card at the front here. 
others of you, there's a group of you though, you have learned to master this. You are now being that beacon of light for others. You are now stepping out into the forefront, into the spotlight, into the world stage. Because you loved life. This is also about, I have to go back. Others of you have to learn how to live life to the fullest. You have to be grateful for what you have, uh, not uh, grateful for what you have. Don't focus on what you don't have. Count your blessings. You woke up today and now you're watching this reading. If you could hear me, your hearing works. If you can see me, you're seeing, you're able to see. You have a working phone, tablet, TV to watch this, internet connection. You probably had some food today. You were able to pay a cable bill or your internet bill or your uh, phone bill. You're able to receive this divine guidance that you were led to watch. Be grateful for that because God wants you to have that abundance. He wants you to live a blissful life. It is your birthright. But there are things you're going to have to do, steps you're going to have to take to attract that, to get there. Love yourself. Love life. Find things that bring you joy and happiness. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. All these happiness cards. The Sun card. Heal that inner child. Six of Cups. Start loving the things in life that you never really looked at before. Really think about that. Enjoy it. We are meant to enjoy life. We are not meant to be controlled, to feel anger, resentment, bitterness. It makes no sense. We need to do complete opposite. Feel happiness, joy, unconditional love, freedom, fun. Okay. I have to go back and say, Others of you, this love is coming in now because you healed yourself. You're living your authentic self right now and you stopped being controlled by society, your parents, your friends, your job, your coworkers, money, toxic relationships, all of that's gone. You focused on your mission, your healing. You heal your heart chakra with this, with unconditional love. And now you are attracting the love of your life, the love of a lifetime. Okay. All right. That took a long time. That was a lot of channeling there. Let's see what you need to focus on. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family. Palladian Sirius, please reveal to us for our highest good. What does Aquarius need to focus on for this week? Please and thank you. I keep hearing forgiveness. <laughs> That's like the judgment card. Or Six of Cups, too. Queen of Cups, yeah. She does that, too. She's unconditional love right here the epitome of it see focusing on conditional love that's probably why i went to a long lecture but it doesn't matter because i channel a lot i read very differently from most readers but i am here to teach based on what i have learned it is my responsibility my mission to teach people what unconditional love is. That's actually my main mission here. That's why I read tarot so differently because I'm trying to get people there. She is the epitome again of unconditional love. Having compassion for others. Again, what I talked about, you 
cannot criticize or judge somebody if, unless you have all the facts, unless you know exactly what they have been through. She doesn't judge. She loves unconditionally with all her heart. She has this compassion for others. She follows her heart. She trusts her heart. She is filled with a divine love of God because she's God, she has the Ace of Cups in her hands. She found her Holy Grail. And she always keeps it with her. It continues to purify her and to rejuvenate her and renew her. She's always tapping into that cup. She's drinking from the divine cup of God so that she's filled with this divine love so that she can stay in that high vibrational state so she can continue to attract that same type of love to continue to attract the abundance, the overflow of abundance, which is what the Ace of Cups also is. She's very psychic. She's very empathic. She's very intuitive. She's always trusting her gut. She feels she doesn't assume. She doesn't point fingers. She doesn't blame. She's healed greatly from all the pain and suffering she's endured. Because I'm also seeing the King of Cups with this. And that is her counterpart, right? No matter what she's been through, she gained a lot of wisdom. From whatever losses she's experienced, whatever heartache she's been through, disappointments, things that didn't work out. She says, you know, I'm still going to have that love because it was a lesson for me. It made me wiser and stronger emotionally. It helped me to really feel, but to be in tune with my emotions and to not suppress them, to not cast them aside. To not pretend that I can't feel, that I don't want to feel. That's not what she does. She went through all the minor arcana cards to get here with regards to understanding what true unconditional love is. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the five of cups. There's a lot of water energy here. Maybe you're dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but some of you are. See, there is something better here, Aquarius. True love does exist. But if that anger, resentment, and the bitterness, and the, you can't forgive, it's there. My angels are standing right behind me with their arms crossed. And it's like, until that is cleared, the true love won't manifest. Because true love is the highest form of love the highest frequency again it's a divine quality that is why it's so hard for us humans to live by to feel to understand it's hard for some humans to love like that some of you are disappointed there's been a temp, there's like a temporary setback or there's been setbacks. Or you're wondering if this is ever going to come in. There's a silver lining to everything, Aquarius. Everything happens for a reason. Whatever the sadness is, the sorrow. You're looking at these three down cups, the cups that you once thought. Maybe the Three of Cups is representative of the Three of Cups and the Tarot. Celebrations, reconciliation, reunions. It's like something's missing. Maybe you're missing somebody a lot. Somebody you very much care about. Maybe somebody here actually literally lost a loved one. And if that's the case, my sincerest condolences. 
if you try to think that you could have prevented that death, God is the one who controls it. God knows the hour, the day, the time, what, how, for all of us. If somebody's supposed to pass in a certain way, that that's up to God. We have no control over that either. We can't get mad about it. We just have to have that compassion and, you know, reminisce about the good times and the love that you felt for that person. That person never goes away because you probably know where that person is right now from in the spirit world. If that's the case, there really was no loss because you know where they are, right? Um, what's that saying? If you know where something is, it's not lost, right? You are hoping for reunion and reconciliation. You're hoping for love. Two of Cups is behind you. You're thinking it's not going to come. It's it's or you keep again with I know with my readings, we keep hearing about all this abundance, all this wonderful all these wonderful things coming. But apparently, Aquarius, for some of you, there's some truth coming out with the control issues and the forgiveness. Apparently, some of you, there's still some healing you need to do. All right. Um, these three cups that once brought you happiness does not bring you happiness anymore, is it? God wants you to see what's behind you. Just turn around. You have two cups that are still there. This is low vibrational energy. Okay. And the shadow sense. Disappointment, loss, sorrow, grief, depression. That is not in alignment with the Two of Cups. The more you focus on the spilt milk here, the more cups you will have that will spill over and you will continue to focus on that. Down Three of Cups is not in alignment with the Two of Cups. Five of Cups energy is not in alignment with true love. The love of a lifetime okay it's not that's why some of you need to raise your vibration disappointments something didn't turn out the way you thought it was going to but your gut is telling you something else is it not you have to listen to your intuition. You have to trust it. You have to let go and let God. Just let God take care of whatever sadness and disappointment, whatever grief you are in, whatever heartbreak you are going through. Have compassion for yourself too, Aquarius. And compassion for those who may have caused this. The love is there. The true love is there. But you're looking in the wrong direction. And on top of that, there is a castle on the other side of that bridge. That's why I don't do love readings on my YouTube channel. I do do them for clients if they ask me to do one. They usually ask through the, uh, the one question or two question readings or the live readings. But I don't do love readings on this channel. Why? Because of what I learned. I was chasing romance for most of my life. And that was not what I was supposed to be doing. I had a higher purpose. God says, you don't want this, Jess. We have true love for you. But you're going to have to work for it. And I find my ultimate fulfillment. I am happier without the things that I used to have. 
I used to be happy with these three cups, whatever the heck they were. And then I realized it was temporary happiness. It was not really what I wanted. This could also be representative of all the failed relationships or marriages or whatever that you've been through, Aquarius. It didn't work out. It's the same thing for me. It didn't work out. Why? Because I was not in alignment with Two of Cups energy. I was not in alignment with the highest form of love of all, which is unconditional love. And everything shifted after I rose my vibration to that level. It's the same thing with you, Aquarius. These three cups are down. But that's not what you should be focusing on. These things don't serve you anymore. Don't be saddened by that. It's time to walk away from that. There's a castle there. Love is in everything. Just like what I learned. I built my own business. I started to really level up with my psychic abilities, my, my spiritual gifts, the, my God-given talents. I overcame so much to the point where I became impenetrable, which I still am. And I'm living and loving life as a single happy mom, happy single mom, however you want to call it. I never really thought I would be this blissful without all the things that I thought made me happy. And I gave up practically all of it. When God sees that you are happy without these things, these down three of cups, without the things that used to make you happy, you give up all these things, you give up that job, you give up dating, you give up that marriage because you know it's not fulfilling. You give up the counterpart because it, it, it's it, there you're not in alignment and you know it and you're not healing. You give up material possessions. Yeah, it's a little bit sad and it's like, wow, I just, it's like I lost everything, but you've never lost anything right it's right behind you when we give up all of that and we find that happiness within with all of that crap god gives us what we could have never imagined something better than we expected we get the true love we get that house the the, the dream job dream career the new car Whatever it is that your heart is desiring, you get your heart's desires and you usually get more than that. That is your ultimate reward. And you learn to love yourself and you learn to love life without these other things. It's like the book of Job. They want you to get out of this energy, okay? Just have love for yourself in all things. Unconditional love, forgiveness, compassion. You have that ace. Divine cup of God. Okay. It's time for you to start drinking from that. Let's see what it is you need to avoid. This reading is turning into like some sort of, I don't know what. <laughs> but that's how I channel. That is how I channel. It's exactly what my guides and my angels want me to do. It's, it's teaching. I teach. That's my job. That is my mission. I teach unconditional love. What you need to avoid, six of swords. You got to get in that boat and move away from whatever is causing the sadness. And you may be in five of swords energy where there's hostilities, being betrayed again, being um, belittled, taken advantage of. I'm seeing betrayal. They're seeing betrayal because six of swords 
is uh, after the Five of Swords. And you know what's in the boat? There are five swords in here. But you know what the sixth one is? The Sword of Excalibur, the Ace of Swords. You use that Ace of Swords to cut out the energy of the Five of Swords. Said, you know what? No more of this. I'm cutting out feeling betrayed, feeling victimized, um, being taken advantage of, being a doormat. I'm moving away from fighting, from these hostilities. And you know what? This whole thing that you were going through, Aquarius, was to teach you a lesson. Because Five of Swords also talks about learning how to stand up for yourself. Learning how to stop being taken advantage of. It's learning a lesson. And you now move to calmer waters. After learning these lessons from those of you, from those who betrayed you. Who lied to you, who were dishonest. So you know what? I don't have to deal with this anymore. I have the power to get in the boat and get myself out of here. I'm moving to calmer waters. I'm heading towards my paradise. I don't need to deal with this nonsense anymore. And you learn from it so that the next time around, it doesn't come back again. Or you know how to cut it out again if it does. This is a situation going from bad to worse, okay? This is also in balance. There's something here where there's some mental state here um, that is, is causing some imbalance here. Some of you um, really need to have some head-heart balance, okay? There's a storm brewing with this card in this position. This is also about um, instability, especially with the mind. You don't have peace in your heart is what I am hearing. You're still staying in tumultuous waters. It's like you, you're having a hard time moving away from these conflicts. Could even be conflicts with yourself. Okay. This means trouble is ahead. Unless you turn around, you get in the boat and you move away from this unsettling situation, this unstable situation. This also talks about slow healing, all right? We all need time to heal. Forgiveness is what's going to really heal whatever the situation is, Aquarius. Here's Page of Cups, look, here's a page. I talked about inner child, okay? This is being manipulated emotionally, all right? This is not trusting your instincts, not trusting your intuition. Somebody broke your heart. Somebody broke your dreams, maybe. Maybe there was a canceled event. Maybe there was a revoked offer. These are inner child wounds here. Some of you need to move away from these dark waters and start really focusing on healing your inner child. And we talked about this way at the beginning. It's like somebody's manipulating your emotions. Something about vulnerability too. Maybe you're afraid to be vulnerable or maybe somebody else is afraid to feel vulnerable. Maybe you were expecting a communication or a message of love. And it didn't come. Maybe you did receive a message or you were expecting an apology. And it did not turn out the way you had hoped with the five of cups of energy for the below the uh, queen of cups, right? Maybe that's what happened. This is a forgiveness card too. Right? Whatever this is for you. Again, some of you still need to start to need to continue to work on healing in your child. 
especially if you were expecting a reunion or you did get a message like I said and it didn't turn out the way you thought, there's still some healing to do. And maybe that's what caused this anger. For some of you, not for all of you, remember it's a general reading. Okay. But there's somebody here who's manipulating your emotions. Or maybe you were really manipulated as a child. Okay. Somebody was trying to control you or um, really trying to control your emotions or you weren't allowed to express your emotions. You weren't allowed to feel. Maybe that's what this is. You can totally change that. If somebody calls this Aquarius, that's for somebody here. You can totally change that. You just have to work on your healing. You have to work on your healing. And here's the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. There is uh, some family issue going on. Something going on in the home. Um, broken marriage, maybe. Mm, money problems. Financial hardships. There's like a, some of you here are dealing with financial hardships. Okay. Something happened with somebody's finances. Again, don't, don't get caught up in this. Everything will turn around. You have to stay positive. Could be fear financial loss. There's, there's arguments within the family unit. All right, maybe somebody here just filed for bankruptcy or they had to file for bankruptcy. Look, there's a new beginning here. There's always darkness before the dawn. There's there's always endings and new beginnings, guys. If there's somebody here who's filing for bankruptcy, okay? Don't, don't get so caught up in it. Don't get angry. Don't get resentful, all right? Try to have compassion. Try to have love in that heart, in your heart. All right, so just be careful with lower vibrational energies. This could even talk about uh, a money trap. Maybe somebody was trying to manipulate you with money, like I said. Or maybe some of you were uh, allowing money to control you, something like that. This is also ancestral patterns, okay? Maybe with whatever this is, it's been in your family lineage for centuries, generations, whatever you want to call this. But this is an ancestral pattern healing card for me. King of Swords. Oh, either you're dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you're dealing with somebody who's very authoritarian, who's very controlling, um, very cold. The King of Swords in this position has no heart. He's got an ice box where his heart used to be. I said that, I think, in a, in a uh, Gemini's reading. That's an Marian song, if you don't know. This guy has a, a heart of ice made out of ice. Okay. He is detached. He has no emotions whatsoever. Um, he's also extremely logical. Extremely logical. There might even be a legal thing here, right? That's why I channeled like the bankruptcy or even something with contracts. Either you lost a contract or some contract didn't work out and you're bitter and you're angry and you're like, you're trying to control things. Again, controlling things is not going to help your situation. You got to move away from whatever hostilities, whatever conflicts you're dealing with, Aquarius. Again, it's for some, not for all. Don't mind my son. He's gaming next door. Somebody's addicted to power here, maybe. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's sarcastic, very, very cold. I'm feeling colder as I'm holding this card. No joke, guys. There's like this cold air surrounding my hand holding this card. This is very strange. This is a ruthless individual. This person does not speak the truth, does not stand in his integrity. All right. This person could run amok, especially with his mouth. This person could be very blunt, very rigid, and just like cut you down with words. It doesn't even give a crap. If you're dealing with that, Aquarius, nope. And we have a king and a queen here, okay? 
as hard as this is, if you're dealing with a person like this, the shadow side of the King of Swords, Aquarius, I know this is going to be hard for some of you. You're going to have to learn how to forgive and have compassion for this person. Because again, this person, this King of Swords and the shadow sense of this, this guy, he is the way he is probably because of his upbringing, stuff that happened to him as a child, okay? As I said, unless you have all the facts, unless you know the exact truth of what's going on with this person, you have no right to criticize or to judge. None of us do. Okay? Um, bottom of the deck. Look, Eight of Cups. Some of you are staying for the wrong reasons. Money. If you know you're in conflict with somebody who really doesn't give a crap about you, who's being this King of Swords... And you're staying because of the money. The money trap, as I said, you're fearing financial loss. That low vibrational energy, Aquarius, you know what's going to happen? If you keep thinking that, you're going to manifest the financial loss. You will manifest the bankruptcy if you haven't filed for bankruptcy yet. That's for somebody here. Okay? You cannot be fearful of losing Money, if you are in low vibrational energies and you're, the fear manifests exactly that, okay? You have to walk away from this situation. Some of you need to move. Some of you need to relocate, all right? This person here, you're dealing with this king of swords here. He's affecting your abundance. This is, this person's trying to control you for what reason? This person may, this is a divorced person too. Maybe there's, you. some of you are divorced and you have this resentment because this person divorced you and put you in whatever situation that you're in right now. Okay? This resentment towards this person is not going to help you whatsoever, Aquarius. And I'm being completely honest with you here because, look, he wants to fall off my altar. Okay? That spirit's way of telling you, you need to just let this person go, Aquarius. Hold on. You cannot stay surround, you, know, you cannot be around this individual because this individual is affecting your actual ten of pentacles. Your quintessential dream, okay, your abundance. Five of cups energy, this stuff. Being manipulated emotionally. Nope. Conflict. Staying in conflict in tumultuous waters. You know the situation is not serving you, Aquarius. You need to move away from it. You have to walk away. And some of you need to literally move. There's something here with a father figure that's affecting you, okay? Childhood. You had a very controlling father. Maybe. That's for some people here. Not all of you. Maybe that's why you're, you're attracting controlling individuals who are cold-hearted, who are very logical. No head-heart balance. Very detached from their emotions. Maybe that's your ancestral pattern. Because it has to do with some father who was like the king of swords. This is why ancestral pattern healing is important. This may have been going on in your family for generations. And you're the one being called to break free from these ancestral patterns or dealing with controlling people. You may have have you may have a family history of uh controlling um individuals. For some it actually is a father figure. Fathers, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, uncles, brothers, okay? Maybe even sons, all right? Again, but it doesn't have to be just males. It could be female too, all right? Some, you're staying for the wrong reasons. You're, you're faking your happiness. Again, that is why you need to be true to yourself, okay? 
when you're being dishonest, people are actually going to sense that and they're not going to be honest with you. You're going to surround yourself with negativity, Aquarius. You got to move away. You cannot fake your happiness any longer. You have to be truthful for, to those around you. You have to be honest with yourself because you know the situation is not for your highest good. It's time for you to leave the past behind, walk away from it, and go head towards your Nine of Cups, your dreams, your aspirations, what your heart desires. Don't worry about what happened to you as a child, what happened to you in your failed marriage or your current marriage or whatever this is for you. You got to let it go. You have to let the past go. It does not dictate who you are. What you do from it is you learn from it. Exactly what I said with the Six of Swords. It's all a learning experience, guys. We're all here to learn, grow, evolve, and eventually teach. Okay, I had to learn how to walk away too. And it was hard as all hell, especially when I let go of the life that I was, was living. This is exactly what I did. The illusions, the seven of cups, right? Everything that I thought was how I was supposed to live life. Everything that I thought that made me happy. It wasn't making me happy. And I took that leap of faith. I said, you know what? I'm going to find what ultimately fulfills me. I'm going to find my Holy Grail so I can get to my Nine of Cups. This is exactly what I did. I gave up what I once had to go find something that was going to give me the ultimate happiness. Okay. You have to stop being dishonest with yourself and with others. Stop staying for the wrong reason. Stop faking your happiness. You may be dealing with somebody who's afraid of commitment. All right. You may be dealing with somebody who's put it up a front. Because they're afraid of being controlled themselves. Because of what happened in their past. You see how this works? You might be in limbo with something. Should I stay? Should I go? I'm seeing two of pentacles now. Okay. For the other group of you, where this love is coming in, your relationship is moving to the next level, which is like courtship, dating, maybe even marriage. Okay. This is what she also represents. You have found your holy grail. You understand what unconditional love is. And now you are filled with that divine love of God. Like I was talking about what some of you need to be focusing on. Others of you have mastered this. You have achieved this. This is the embodiment of the divine feminine right here. Okay. She is full of compassion and she loves everyone and everything unconditionally. Some of you have achieved this, right? With the five of cups. After thinking that this love was lost or your life wasn't going to be the same or you were just going to be continuing to be unhappy. No, you started to see what true love really was, what unconditional love really was. And it filled you with that joy. Oh my God, look, I've never seen this before in this card. There are two swans here. There's something with a divine union with this, okay? I've never looked at this Queen of Cups like that before. The two swans are signifying divine union. There's a divine union for like a few of you here. You un you've mastered, you understand what unconditional love is and you're full of it, okay? And you are pouring that out to others. Um, King of Swords, uh, there's something, I'm hearing justice of the peace. Somebody is coming in to speak their mind with truth and integrity, speak their, their truth with integrity and honesty. And confidence. I kind of got that all jumbled up, but you get my point. This person is now going to tell you uh, the truth about everything, okay? Um, why they might have acted cold to you, why they, they might have felt detached from you. This is a master of focus, integrity, and truth, okay? He is following his true path, his path of truth. 
Now that he's found that he's coming in to bring some clarity, he's bringing in some truth to you, or this is you doing that to them, Aquarius. There's a lot of honesty here with this individual. Somebody's communicating something to you. They're really going to tell you the truth about a lot of things. Um, apology is in order for, for some of you who, who've done the work. If your heart is full and clear, uh, is full of the divine love, and you do not have resentment, this person's going to come in to apologize. Again, this is forgiveness, forgiveness. You are being called to forgive this individual for being what they they were before, but it was a facade as the king of swords, okay? Pretending that they didn't love you, pretending I'm, not, I'm detaching, I'm being cold towards you, I'm giving you the cold shoulder I just heard. I, I'm making you feel, you know, saddened and disappointed, but that's not what they wanted to do because they had healing to do. They had inner child healing to do as well. They had a very controlling father. I'm channeling this for somebody really, really hard right now. They had a controlling father. And that that just was part of the ancestral pattern that your person had to break. And now they're coming in to apologize. It's unexpected. Some of you are getting an unexpected message here. They're opening their heart to this love now. And now they're going to express their love for you. This is something very new for them because for most of their life, especially when it started in childhood, they were told to suppress their emotions. They were told not to feel. Again, it was some sort of father figure that had an involvement with this person that you're dealing with, okay? They're coming in to apologize. You have to hear this person out. Again, with the forgiveness, you cannot go back to feeling betrayed. Because again, I'm already telling somebody here what happened with this person. And they may very well tell you exactly what I'm channeling. You can't fault somebody for having a very rough childhood, for having control, a controlling father, mother, whoever this is. Even a controlling spouse. Maybe they were full of people their lives are full of people who were controlling them all the years of their life. And it just jacked them up. Okay. It jacked them up. Coming in to apologize. There's a message of love here. This is a romantic gesture. Uh, a proposal even. Okay. A love offer. This person may very well be sensitive too. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, there's water right here, okay? Or they have water in their chart. The romance is coming in. The romance is blooming. The romance is on the horizon, right? That's why it says for some of you who've done the work and you, you're you full of unconditional love and you're, you're, you're emanating that to the world, it's here for you now because you've learned what forgiveness and unconditional love really is. And look at the reward that you get. Conflicts are going to be resolved. You may be relocating with this person. You're moving to calmer waters. This person wants to bring peace, peace, harmony, and balance to the situation and healing, right? Healing with this Ace of Cups that he's holding right here, all right? I offer you peace, Aquarius. I don't want to be conflicted anymore. I don't want to lie anymore. I don't want to be detached from this love. I, I understand what this is now. I don't want to do this anymore and be hostile towards this connection i'm bringing you an offer of love and peace and harmony and forgiveness you they forgive you you forgive them you move to calmer waters again this some of you might involve moving to a new home this is buying a house too okay then because as i said you get your heart's desires and then some. You get the rewards that you were never really expecting because you learned how to unconditionally love and forgive. You get this. This is having it all. The house, the car, the harmonious, happy, joyous, stable family 
for the long term, building a family legacy. The dogs, the cats, the mansion. This is having it all. That is the word that God gives you. Again, when you learn to unconditionally love and forgive. Some of you were only wanting, I just want this person to love me. I just want love, true love. But then you learn about what that really is and how hard it is to achieve that. The work that needs to be done. This is also a great achievement. This is, you're getting rewards for your hard work. You're going to get the love. You thought it was just going to be union with somebody or get or finding this true love, attracting it. But no, God says, oh, Aquarius, I'm rewarding you with something so much greater than just the two of cups that you were once not looking at. You get this. Okay. That is what you get because you walked away from someone who was not showing emotions, who was detached, maybe being a little bit puerile with the page of cups there, someone who was manipulating your emotions, okay? Someone who couldn't be vulnerable, who was very cold and detached. You walked away from not only that person, but you walked away from unfulfilling romantic relationships. You walked away from unfulfilling jobs and friendships, all of the above, material things. You gave up practically everything, Aquarius, to find your true happiness. Following your dreams, your wishes, your aspirations. And what did I say? Because you gave it up. It's now being returned to you tenfold. It's a 10 completion. You are getting more than what you asked for. You are getting way more than what you thought you really wanted. That's the secret right there. It's unconditional love and forgiveness. Okay. This is a long ass reading. Spirit, do you want me to clarify? Yeah, they're saying to keep going because this is, this is a big reading for Aquarius at this time. Can you please clarify the Queen of Cups for us, Spirit Guides and Angels, Galactic Family, Plato and Syrians? Please and thank you. Please clarify the Queen of Cups for us, Spirit Guides and Angels. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, 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 oh. wow. Okay, guys. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. Intellectual talent provides knowledge. We have the Queen of Cups again. Redemption. Oh, I can't read that. Serves against enemies of religion, governs chastity. The Nine of Pentacles. Submission to a higher order. Identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Page of Wands. Propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders, saves from enemies. Five of Pentacles. Patience reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. Okay, see, now we've got five of pentacles showing up. Eight of pentacles, okay? This is about doing the work, as I was talking about. I had said, learning about unconditional love, all right, and, and living that on a daily basis, it takes a lot of work, okay? But take it one day at a time. 
All right. Um, this is about following your dharma. Mastering a skill, a God-given talent that you were giving. Okay? This is sticking to your guns. This is really doing the inner spiritual work, Aquarius. Working towards the goal of learning about compassion and unconditional love. Intellectual talent. Some of you are very brilliant individuals and you are an air sign, Aquarius. Utilize that to your advantage. Maybe that your dharma, your life's purpose involves something along maybe writing, um, poetry, music maybe because the Queen of Cups is uh, very artistic. So is the Page of Cups. Anyway, we had the Queen of Cups again. Okay, again, redemption, God, the Redeemer. This is really emphasizing unconditional love, Aquarius, and compassion and forgiveness. They're really uh, driving this home, Aquarius, with unconditional love and forgiveness here. I can't stress that enough. Nine of Pentacles. Learning how to be happy on your own. That's what I had to do. I had to learn how to be single on my own. That's what I was talking about. I'm a happily single mom, full-time mom. Built my own business. I go by my own rules, my own belief system. Hey there, Aquarius, the phone just stopped. So um, I'm picking up where I left off <laughs> with the Nine of Pentacles, as I was saying, you know, I am loving life. This is, talks about with the bond with the deck, with the love life rose quartz card. Um, start to really enjoy life and enjoy the beauty around you. Um, and do things that you love to do. This Nine of Pentacles energy talks about, again, enjoying life on your own. Like being single, like seeing the world around you, seeing what you're truly capable of. And some of you may be aspiring to... Build your own businesses or there's some skill that you're very, very good at that you should be utilizing for the greater good of humanity. It's like you bring healing to the world with this artistic talent that you have or some skill that you have that was God given. Okay. And maybe you're being called to start a business from it um, and you're doubting yourself for whatever reason. Don't give into fear based thinking. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who does not give in to fear-based thinking. They're successful because they know how to manifest things into their to the physical. They know that their thoughts create their reality. And then they create an abundant life for themselves. All right. Um, we also have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands, it says propagation of light confounds the wicked and slander saves from enemies. So there's something here. Maybe you are dealing with enemies or you think you have all these enemies that change your mindset if that's you aquarius um and if you feel that way just cut the cords just cut the cords and with the page of wands this is about following your passions this is about an exciting new endeavor that um, spirit really wants you to embark on what is it that you love to do what is it that you're truly passionate about again i talked about some skills some talent that you have Go for it. Just go after that. Okay, Aquarius, something weird's going on here. The phone cut off again. So they said, just go use your iPad. If this keeps cutting out, that's kind of a sign that maybe not the full message needs to go out or something along those lines, okay? So um, the quality has gone down, but I'm not worried about that because this is about the message. As long as you can hear me, that's all that matters. And you can at least see some one of the cards, okay? Um, don't know where I left off, but I was talking about the Five of Pentacles. Um, just gonna have to repeat myself. Let go of the pity party. No more war, woe is me, no more why me. I used to do that a lot. I was like, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? And every time I said that, I was attracting more stuff that was happening to me that I wasn't happy with, that I wasn't for my highest good. I had to get out of that mentality. And this also talks about, you know, don't give in to the fear of lack mentality, lack 
attracts lack. Don't doubt yourself. Don't give in to lack of self-worth. Don't give in to um, feeling unworthy, okay? Because you are worthy of all the abundance in the world. You are. There are just certain things that you're going to have to work on to attract the, the abundance that is your birthright, okay? Um, feeling rejected, left out of the cold. Uh, rejection is protection. God is protecting you from something with whatever this is. Aquarius, if you keep getting rejected by people, jobs, events, something that doesn't work out, it's because it's happening for a reason. God is telling you, Aquarius, it's not for your highest good. This is not the path that I want to lead you towards, okay? So don't try to force it. If it's not working out, just walk away like we saw with the Eight of Pentacles. Let God handle it because he's in full control. All right. The bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. What lights you up? It's time for you to shine, Aquarius. What lights your fire? What gives you that spark? We're not going to be able to read this, but it says fertility and multiplicity protects against despair, helps one be patient. Yep. The patient God. They're also talking about having patience, all right? The Queen of Cups is a very patient per person. You know, she's very nurturing, very heartwarming. And she's like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to put love into everything that I do, put love into every situation. This is about you going for it. Like I said, with that energy of the Page of Wands, the Page of Wands has the Ace of Wands in his hand, and here it is at the bottom of the deck. You have to find that renewed passion for love and life. Aquarius, right? You're not going to find that outside yourself. You're not. You're going to find it within. And you're going to start to find things that you absolutely love. And you're like, you know what? I used to do this. I'm going to get back into it. Oh my gosh. I had no idea how much joy this is bringing me. Again, what lights you up? You got to shine your light. Okay? Don't dim it. This is your opportunity. This is the Ace of Wands. Your opportunity to shine, Aquarius. Your opportunity to do things that you love. This is a fresh start. If you keep being rejected from something or somebody, it's because you're being kicked away from those things that aren't for your highest good so that you can get on your path. This is a fresh start for you. This is you starting to utilize your creative talents, the God-given gifts, all right? God's saying, here, Aquarius, take this wand. This is the light of God that's going to light your way on this new path towards this new journey, all right? Let's see why. The Ten of Pentacles, the, um, I forgot what cards were here. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Six of Swords, and King of Swords here. Why are all those cards here in the avoid position? Thank you, Spirit. Oh my gosh, we have a whole bunch of more cups. We have three of cups. Okay, third party situations. Fame and renown influences commerce, voyages, and great discoveries. It's time to discover what brings you happiness, right? Three of cups is talking about um, a loving life, having fun. Some of you got to have more fun, okay? You have to raise your vibration. Find a like-minded community, Um my light counterpart community and my mobile web app that is absolutely for free if you sign up to my website there's a link in the description box or you go to capellawellness.com you find you're going to find a like-minded um, community there i also give daily guidance to my capella crew members i give an affirmation of the day i'm going to start doing some other things soon i think it's going to start in the new year um i'm really going to start to do try to do things on that app it's completely free all of the extra guidance that I give there and the, the advice that I give to the other um, crew members there, my family there, um, you know, I do it for free. I'm not charging to give that additional guidance. I wasn't called to do so. All right. So if you're interested in that, hop on over to capellawellness.com, click on the sign me up button. You're going to get an email with a link to the private mobile app. Again, it's completely free. Everything is free and you will get all this additional guidance and you will start meeting up with like-minded people there, okay? Don't be shy. Chime in. I used to be a very shy person. Trust me. I'm still a little bit introverted, introverted but I was way more introverted than um, Aquarius Moon, right? So 
if you're interested, you'll find some more friends there who are going through a similar journey that you are, okay? It's up to you. If you feel John, go ahead and sign up. Again, there's a link in the description box too. Um, learn how to have fun, okay? Uh, don't um, give in to third-party situations, all right? It's not, it's not necessary. Third-party situations are just going to slow you down, okay? Um, Nine of Cups, self-indulgent. This is about selfishness. Maybe somebody is selfish. Somebody self-indulgent. Somebody thinks for themselves. They're trying to fill their own cups. This might even be dealing with drinking, okay? Because we have Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups here and the Queen of Cups. I have to say there's a lot of water. Sometimes when I see this and I'm channeling this because this is what my guides are telling me that either there's a drinking problem with you Aquarius or the person that you're dealing with has a drinking problem, okay? That's a third party thing, all right? Third parties don't always have to deal with people. Now, uh, if that's you or your person Aquarius, some action needs to be taken. And Aquarius, if, if you are this five of cups and five of pentacles energy, Drinking your sorrows away is not going to help the situation, okay? You got to break through that somehow. Get some help. Five of Pentacles does talk about seeking help. There is help for you, especially with seeking guidance, help from your angels and your guides, okay? And from God. They cannot help you unless you ask, all right? So if it's not drinking, this is about some of you are not going after your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, um, maybe you're staying behind for the wrong reasons because there's some sort of selfishness to that. Maybe there's an ego thing here. So, um, you're going to have to start really going after your heart's desires. Okay. What are you dreaming about? What is it that you truly want? You got to go after it again. Ace of wands and the, um, page of wands. Here's eight of wands. More fire energy, grandeur makes one passionate toward God. This is about passion. There's a violin here. Somebody might play violin. Somebody needs to get back into music. This could also mean that music is going to uplift you. It's going to raise your vibration. Eight of Wands is heightened energy. It's excitement. There's a lot of um, uh, going on, but in the in the positive side of the Eight of Wands, this is high vibration, right? High energy. Some of you may need to listen to solfeggio frequencies to help you with your healing. Some of you need to start listening to uplifting music, maybe even classical music, okay? Maybe you need to take a sea salt bath, listen to classical music, and just relax. That's for somebody here. Maybe somebody actually plays the violin. It's kind of funny because I play the violin too, um, or at least I used to. I do need to get back into it, but I've had my violin fixed a couple times, and it still needs fixing, and it's a very old violin. Anyway, I digress. So there's something with, with orchestral music here, symphonic orchestra, music, whatever. Maybe that's your talent or maybe you need to listen to music to lift your vibration. Um, again, there is somebody here that plays the violin other than me. So with the Eight of Wands here, um, you're, there's slow progress or no progress at all. You're causing the delays of having this abundance come into your life. This also could very well mean maybe you received some sort of communication from someone that was disheartening. Uh, again, maybe it wasn't expected. So they want you to just realize that while it didn't work out and you were expecting something else, it is for your highest good. Because again, rejection is protection. This is also for some of you, you're doing too many things. There's too much activity. You have to start focusing on what is really for your highest good. The Page of Swords. Now we have another page. We have three pages, guys. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. I Again, I was thinking about page energy with the childhood healing, the inner child healing, okay? Some of you need to still work on healing that inner child. Maybe your person that you're dealing with needs to work on their inner child too. With the other side of this, it's about seeing through the eyes of a child, being a little bit more playful, having more fun. Again, three of cups energy. Refuge governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from morals. Now, this is the God, this is God the refuge. 
The Page of Swords in this position talks about dishonesty, somebody playing mind games, somebody's playing tricks on you, okay? This also talks about gossip. If you or somebody else is involved in gossip, if it's you, Aquarius, gossiping isn't going to help the situation. But I'm getting for more so there are more of you who are on the receiving end of this gossip type of energy. People saying crap. People saying lies about you. Um, this may even be people are spying on you or you're spying on someone. This is something about social media. Maybe you're getting too caught up in social media and it's affecting your psyche. It's affecting your vibration. Maybe that's why you don't feel worthy or... Um, you're you're faking your happiness on social media maybe that's for a couple of people here you're pretending that life is fine and dandy when it really isn't and you're being dishonest with yourself and others that's why we saw the eight of cups in the bottom of the deck for the avoid position with the uh christmas major arcana cards okay there's something here with social media you you you're you're pretending to be somebody else again revealing your true self is what is required here Allow others to know who you really are. You're going to feel love for who you are because here's the thing. When you're pretending to be someone you're not, that's lowering your vibration, right? Because you know you're lying to people. You know that you're being dishonest and that is affecting you, all right? That's for some of you here, not all of you. Or maybe you're dealing with somebody who is doing that, okay? Again, with this King of Swords energy, Page of Swords, someone's being dishonest. Somebody's really trying to control you with their mind games. I'm saying, I, that's why I said mind control, okay? You got to cut cords with whoever this is. You got to do it. And you got to cut cords with, with comparing yourself to others on social media or, again, pretending to be someone you're not just to fit in or to have other people think that everything is all rainbows and unicorns some of you need to stop social media altogether unless you are getting divine guidance upliftment encouragement and motivation to become your higher self to be more in alignment with your higher self unless you are getting that i highly recommend that you cut all social media period all right okay we went through all of those what's at the bottom of the deck Another three. The Ascended Masters are assisting you with this, is what I just heard. Three of Wands, okay? Construction of the universe helps with great works. Protection from adversaries. Yeah, it's like there's this thing where you, do you have a lot of enemies or people are just out to get you, but that's what you're thinking. Again, you guys need to move away from that if that's your story. It's really affecting your energies. There, there's, we saw a pipe of five of pentacles and five of cups and we don't want those energies okay we don't want to deal with that three of wands three of wands is not really making any progress either okay some of you are not manifesting your dreams some of you are thinking that you want the dreams of others when deep down inside you know it's not for you I heard keeping up with the Joneses. That's for somebody. This is lack of foresight. You're thinking small. You're not thinking big. You're not dreaming big, Aquarius. You have to dream big. You have to believe in the impossible. There is regression here. It's like some of you were on this, like, you know, fast track to abundance, but something interfered with your energies. It's time to get back on track. And that's okay, because sometimes we regress. I know I've been there. You feel the manifestation coming. You feel this high energy. And I know a lot of your readings were like that, Aquarius, but something happened. And some of you are starting to doubt again. Some of you are starting to feel like God abandoned you. That's for somebody. Or a uh, heard abandoned ship that you just want to give up. We're not giving up. You can't rest on your laurels. That's what the Three of Wands talks about. This is a long journey, but you have to have renewed hope for the future. You have to continue through your journey. We go backwards a little bit. That's okay, but you got to go forwards. You can't keep going backwards, Aquarius. This talks about lack of progress. What are you postponing? Why did you stop? Why are you stalling? 
Who's causing this stall? Nobody should be getting in your way of your progress, Aquarius. No one. This could also mean um, something about travel. Again, some of you are being called to travel overseas or travel somewhere else or move somewhere else. This is about leveling up. You guys are supposed to be leveling up or something is keeping you back. Something is stalling your progress and whatever it is I talked about might be it. But again, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else. You know your story. You already know what this is, Aquarius. This is also about being at a distance. Or maybe you need to distance yourself with someone or something. Maybe you need to return home. Okay? There's something about going back home with this Three of Wands card. Or there's some inhibitions here, a restriction, something's restricting you. Inhibition could very well be drinking, okay? Again, you know, judgment on you, okay? If that's you, Aquarius. I've seen that a lot in my life. I haven't done honestly. Otherwise, I would tell you that wasn't my thing. But I know people who resorted to that. And it doesn't make the situation better. It just, you sp it spirals out of control. And I don't want that for you, Aquarius. If you're the person here who um, has resorted to drinking because of everything that's going on. Um, you're more powerful and stronger than you think, Aquarius. So drinking is only going to lower your um, your vibration, okay? Find things that make you happy. Follow your passions. What are you passionate about? Do something creative. Don't do something to escape, okay? There's no escaping here. No addictions, no obsessions, all right? Okay, my gosh. Let's go see what your guidance is for the week. <laughs> Long reading, Aquarius, but oh my gosh, it's necessary. My guides are like, no, just we don't focus on the length of these messages. Oh, three of wands also calls for patience and divine timing. Everything happens in divine timing, but you got to keep pushing forward. Don't let anyone stall your progress or get in your way. Patience, okay? Again, patience is needed for some of you. Um, let's see what your overall guidance is for this week. What guidance do we have for Aquarius, Spirit Guides and Angels, Galactic Family, Pleiadian Syrians? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. But yeah, my guides are saying, as I was going to say, patience. And with the length of my videos, I keep hearing from my angels, actually. I think it's Archangel Michael speaking to me at this time. If if the individual doesn't have the patience to, to watch these, and I know people are busy, and, you know, there's other things that can be done. But again, what is for your highest good? If you know these are helping you, Archangel Michael is saying to take the time out. Have the patience to go through these readings to obtain your guidance. Because the Archangels are rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. God's rooting for you. Everyone is entitled to abundance in all forms. But you got to do the work. Okay, you got to keep going. Sorry, guys, my eye is itching for whatever reason. Okay, what guidance do we have for Aquarius? I can't help it. I have no control over someone who doesn't have patience. I have no control over your schedule. I am doing what I am being called to do. I am following my divine guidance. I am following my dharma by doing this. And if these messages have to be long, then so be it. It's not my fault if somebody doesn't have patience to watch. I don't know why I'm saying that, but there's a reason because the three of wands came out. And my guide said patience. And then Archangel Michael was telling me to go talk about... 
having patience to watch my readings. I don't know why. Um, okay, do we have any guidance? Thank you, Spirit. It's like they were thinking about that, or they wanted me to finish. They wanted me to get that message out. That's what they're saying. Aquarius, you are healing your heart. The heart, it's really bright. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. See? I don't think you can see that, but I read it. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. That's why I'm saying divine timing. Take time to heal. Okay? Continue with that healing forgiveness speeds up the healing guys i'm telling you time to do it differently number 22 is a master builder number go beyond what you have done before step out of your comfort zone yep time to do things differently aquarius it's time to change the game all right whatever it is you're doing it's not working and you know it you know it so it's time to release that okay Time to forgive, time to unconditionally love, time to really focus on your healing. What does your heart want? Be free to manifest your heart's desires. See, what are your goals, your dreams, your aspirations? What do you want, Aquarius? Don't follow what everybody else wants. Is it truly what you want? Why do you want some something that someone else has? It doesn't make any sense to me. Follow your passions again. Do things differently. Do what Aquarius wants to do. What Aquarius's heart wants to do. Let's see what your affirmation of the week is. What is Aquarius's affirmation of the week? Spirit guides and angels. Galactic. Oh. They said, stop. They want me to read you are healing your heart. Oh my gosh, you know why? I talked about the Ascendant Masters being here, right? I said 33, here's another, here's 33. This is the Jesus number for me. The Ascendant Masters are supporting you with this, okay? And Jesus is actually in this reading now that I'm hearing it because he is the one who is the epitome of, he's representative of unconditional love. All right, so let's look at 33. So we have a, two master numbers, guys. Ascendant master number and then the master builder number. Okay, you are healing your heart. Healing. You are healing your heart. Loss is a part of life. Losing something, someone, or an experience of some kind is part of letting... It is part of the letting go process. The more you try to hold on, the harder it is. You have to let go. Release the tears, let them flow, and see them for what they are. It's a waterfall of love. Love is what you feel. Be well. Let the tears flow. Okay? The heart hurts right now, but it will mend in time. Let the love tears flow, for love is all there is. There you go. Yeah, loss is a part of life. But we don't want to focus on that. Release, and then you move on. Purge. Allow yourself to feel those emotions, but don't linger in them, right? No self-pity, no woe is me. What is the affirmation for the week for Aquarius? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Wow, this is a big one. We have mercy here. I know it's going to be blurry, guys, but I can't really get this thing to focus because it's on my Aunt Pie, but so you're going to have to trust me when I read it. To develop the quality of mercy, forgive yourself and everyone around you. Be magnanimous. See the good in others and give them the benefit of the doubt. Open up to compassion, but most of all, access the wisdom within that recognizes the divine in every creature. It's exactly what I was saying. When you temper your attitude to others with mercy, you offer them grace. You spread much light, join freedom, and empower others to find the good in themselves. Choosing this card may mean that the angels of mercy are offering you 
release from your pain or difficulties. Accept it graciously. Your affirmation of the week is, I am merciful. Wow. Mercy, the all mer merciful God, right? Jesus Christ is the same. That's pretty big. Vulnerability is the bottom of the deck. Only the brave and open-hearted dare to allow themselves to be vulnerable, for it requires courage to take down all walls and expose your humanness. Your angel guidance is to become aware of your defense mechanisms, which keep you separate from others in the divine. Ask your angels to help you dissolve your masks and barriers so that your fragile true self can emerge like a butterfly from its cocoon. The reward is freedom, love, and a sense of inner safety. So dare to be vulnerable and open. The affirmation at the bottom of the deck is vulnerability is my strength. Okay. I know you can't see that, guys. You're just going to have to. Maybe you see a little bit of it. I know it's blurry. Uh, at least the majority of the reading was not done on the iPad. Because I know it's a little bit harder to read in the dark. Well, especially with the iPad, too. All right. Aquarius. Let's see what is coming to you with regards to love. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian experience. I've heard finances are affecting your love life. Again, we did see five of pentacles and ten of pentacles, okay? But let's see what comes out. What is uh, coming to Aquarius with regards to love? Spirit guides and angels. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Thank you. This could be the one You've already met the romantic partners you seek, okay? It's just like a temporary setback. You still got to have compassion. I'm hearing both of you are not in alignment yet. If you are a light counterpart slash to inflame, the alignment isn't there yet. Yeah, there's like a setback here. Okay. Or you just met somebody and you got hit with the love bug or something. You got hit with Cupid's arrows. We did see Eight of Wands here, right? It's right here. Maybe this person lives a distance from you. And you're wondering, oh my gosh, I have all this love for this person. This person's acting this way. Uh, it's saying you've already met the partner, romantic partner you seek. Some of you, you've, you're already... This is your person, okay? This is your person. If you were doubting, that's your confirmation. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Exactly. You're going to have to do some work here. Both of you. Continue to do the work. Some of you, apparently there's some new people here. Some of you are being called to start doing the healing work your inner child work, all of that stuff, following your dharma. Others of you, you need to continue making forward progress on your journey. Don't let anything stall you. Don't let anything keep you from getting in your way. All right. Okay, Aquarius, if you would like a personal reading with me, my calendar is open. Please check out the description box below for direct links to some of my services. If you feel drawn to those, you'll be sent straight to my page straight to that service so you can book it from that short link that is there or you can hop on over to capellawellness.com check out my service suite i am a violet flame light counterpart who has achieved union with self if you would like guidance or counsel on your twin flame journey i don't like using twin flame because my guides told me not to they don't like that word either that term and i don't like labeling things but people are familiar with that they told me to use light counterpart in case you didn't already know anyway if you would like guidance, counsel, coaching with that journey, I am more than happy to help. I do have light counterpart readings. You can even have a live coaching or tarot reading session with me, okay? If there's a particular reading you want, there's a field in the form that you fill out with your information while you're booking your reading 
to tell me what specific reading you would like um, the live session for. Um, those light counterpart readings are underneath the light counterpart category in my service suite. If you have any questions about this reading, anything about me, my journey, I do talk about my journey, my background a little bit on my webpage if you're curious. Um, any questions you may have, please feel free to reach out to me. Don't be shy. I'm a very nice person. I am. Some of you know this. Um, <laughs> I'm very compassionate too, and I'm here for the greater good of humanity. I want to help. So, and that's why all the extra guidance and stuff that I give for free on my mobile app, it's for free because I just want to get the messages out. I want to give as much support as I possibly can, okay? So feel free to reach out to me. My email address is in the description box below or you can hit the chat function on my, my uh, website or fill out the contact form on capellawellness.com, okay? There's multiple ways to contact me. All right, Aquarius, I hope this helps. This concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. And always, I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness.